What's going on guys? We're going to do a tutorial today on how to do that uh, kind of intro effect that you just saw. Uh, the three things that you'll need, which I'll make sure I link in the bottom, is this blue background, this tape PNG file, and this outline of Miles Powell right here. So first what we're going to do is drop down the background, which is right here. So we're going to drop that into the timeline like this. And as you can see, we kind of have some extra space right here that we don't want. So we're going to go to scale all. And we're just going to drag that up to about right there. And then second, what we want to do is we want to add on um, our tape. So we're going to add on our tape right here. And we're going to scale that to the size that we need it. So I think right there will be good. And then... I'm just going to drag up in the Y's. I'm going to go to Positions and Y's. I'm going to make it go up. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Option and drag up like this. And that just made a duplicate. So if I go over here to Position again and move it around, you'll see I have two. And I'm actually going to go to Rotation right under Position and rotate it like this. Just so it doesn't look, it is the same, but that way it doesn't look so much the same. And then I'm going to move it over this way. And then like this. Just to give it some layers. Maybe move it over some more. And I can also make it bigger like this if I felt like it. Um, now what we're going to do is drag, uh, press Option and drag up again. And that's going to give us a third and final layer. And with this one, what we're going to do is actually make the rotation zero. So I'm going to press right here, and rotations and just enter zero. And I'm gonna go to mask in our effects. I'm gonna drag the mask over here. And I'm gonna make this more of like a rectangle. So I'm just gonna mask it like this. I'm gonna get rid of the draw points. So now we have something like this going on, but I also want it to be a different color. So I'm gonna go to the color board, which is to the right of the effects. And I'm going to drag all of these to the top of the blues like this. And that's a little bit too light for me. So I'm going to go to our exposures on the far right. And I'm going to bring this down a little bit to about right there. And I like the way that looks. So now using the position tools, I'm going to center that in the middle of those first two little tape overlays that we made. So right there. And now what I'm going to do is... I'm going to select all of these three, and I'm going to make a new compound clip like this. So now I made all of those just one clip. I think I'm going to scale it up just a little bit to about right there. And then I'll have to reposition it some. So I'll bring that down. I'll bring this down. And now what we're going to do is add a seat and hall right here to the top. So I'm just going to go to the titles. And usually I just drag basic title down. And I'm going to change that to the size that we want. I'm just going to type in Seton Hall or whatever school that you're making this video for. And that's Seton Hall. And then I don't really want to do that font. So I'm just going to pick another one that I think looks cooler, which is like. Hmm. I'll go with this one. That's kind of the one I use the most often. And I'm just going to go to position and like a graph. I'm going to grab Y's and I'll make it go up and down. And then the X's make it go side to side. And I want it to be directly in the middle like this. So that's how you do the top part. I think in the one that they did, this was a lot smaller. Um, than how I'm doing it right now. And then now you're gonna add the player. So we're gonna add the player about right here. And as you can see, his hand goes above the tape or in front of the tape and we don't want that. So in the layers, we just need to drag the player and bring him underneath like this. And now you can see it kind of gives it more of like a depth feel, like a 3D type of effect and 
what we're going to do now is add the name in the background. So kind of like how I just explained, in order to have stuff in the background, in the timeline, you need it to be underneath. So I'm going to drag basic title again, and I'm going to drag that underneath like this. And I'm going to bring this down like that. And I'm just going to type in his first name, which would be Miles. And I'm going to definitely make the title a little bit bigger. And I think I know what one I want to use for this. So I want to use this font. And as you can see, because I put the title underneath the picture of him, it kind of goes in the back of him. Which, like I said earlier, just kind of gives it like a 3D look. So I'm going to bring that there. And as you can see, he, it kind of cuts off a lot of his name. And right here, this that's the highest the size will let me go. So a way around that is to just click on the title, double tap it, and click New Compound Clip. And then that will make it pretty much like a video effect almost. And you go to Scale All. You just drag that up like this. And then I'm gonna go to positions, bring it down. And that brings it about right there. And I like that better than it was before because you can kind of see what it was actually saying more. And now we're gonna go to basic title and we're gonna add the last name. So we're gonna drag that. It really doesn't matter if it's above or below the first name, but it needs to be below the actual player for sure. And now we're gonna add his last name. P-O. W-E-L-L, -L. and then I'm going to go to the right font, drag that all the way up, and then bring it down with the Y's, and then I'm going to go to the X's, like this, and I want to make that a little bit bigger, so like I said, you just double click it, or if you're using a mouse, you'll right click, new compound clip, press OK. And then in scale all, you're going to drag up. And then you're going to bring the Y's up like this. So now, and also in that video, they added Fox Sports. So um, I don't make anything that goes on Fox Sports. So I don't know what I would put there. But so we're probably going to leave that empty just uh, for this one. But now we're going to go to the part where we animate it. Because as you can see right now, we kind of have a definitely a cool screen grab, but nothing's actually moving. So we're going to first you um, put a draw mask on the tape. So that's this clip right here. And we're going to add a draw mask right here. And we're going to make sure we're on the first frame. That's really important. Make sure you're on the first frame. And then in transforms, you want to add a keyframe on all of these two, three, and control points. You definitely want to keyframe on those. And what, then what you want to do is make a big rectangle around the, the tape like this. And then as you can see, that didn't do anything. So we're going to go to invert. Oh. My bad, I forgot something. You want to make this scene hall part of this new compound clip. So you can go like this, drag those two, and press new compound clip. Boom. And then I think that's going to make us do the draw mask again. So now, now we're going to drag the draw mask, my fault guys, and make a big rectangle like this. Boom. Boom. Maybe drag that up a little bit. And then when you press invert, it should all go away. So make sure you're on the first frame. And then don't forget to add your keyframes again, because that will suck. So go here, 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 here. And then once you're on zero frames, go one, two frames. Drag it quite a bit, because if you recall in the video, this didn't take more than a second. One, two, drag it back quite a bit. Oops. 
Make sure you're just dragging this bar right here. One, two. Drag it more. And then one, two. Right here. And we're going to go two more. And that should finish it. And I'm going frame by frame. If you haven't watched any of my other videos, by the left and right arrow keys. And then that's 10 frames right there. So we're going to finish it out like this. And now if we watch, we should have something that looks like this. Pretty cool. And now let's animate these uh, titles right here with his name. So we're going to go to the first name. And like I said, make sure you're on the zero frames in the very beginning. And this time we're not going to add a draw mask, but we are going to first add our keyframe and our positions like right here. So that should be yellow. And then the X's we're going to drag up till it's about right there, halfway in, halfway out. And then we're going to go to the 12th frame, I would say. Now nah, we'll go to the 8th frame. And then in X's, you can just click it and press 0, and that'll bring it like that. So now we have something like this. And we want to do the same thing with this last name, but we want to make it come in from the opposite side. So with this selected, we're going to go to positions again. And instead of dragging the X's up, we're going to drag the X's down to where it's about halfway, like this. And as you can see, I added my keyframe. And then you're going to go to the eighth frame. And X's, press zero. And then you'll have it like this. Boom, so we're almost done. Now we just have to animate the player, which is going to be similar to the last two things we did. So we're just going to go to the first frame, or the, the very beginning, so the zero frame. And we're actually going to make sure we add our keyframe and positions. And instead of playing with the X's, we're going to play with the Y. So we're going to actually bring him up a little bit, like right here. And then we're going to go about two frames. And we're going to bring him down right here and then we'll go three frames so five and then we're going to bring him up to zero so actually you can just type in zero like that and that should give him a kind of like a little animation effect in the beginning like in that video that those people made and now we should have something that looks like this and I kind of like it but I think in the video when he came back up he um, actually was a lot more he was moving up more so I'm actually gonna go back to the part where we bring him up and instead of making him stop right there I actually think that I want to bring him up higher, like here. And then at eight, then bring him down to zero. And I think that'll look cooler. So let's see how that looks. Yeah, that looks a lot better. So that right there is kind of how you do that effect they did. Obviously, like I said, it said Fox right here. You could add whatever you want. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the basics of how you make that effect that they did right there. Um, yeah, if you guys have any more videos that you would like me to break down, just DM them to me on uh, Instagram at directedbyjoey underscore. And other than that, everyone be safe.